Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Allen Design. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how you can easily make an interactive ad like this in Adobe Animate. As you can see, the buttons are clickable and they have rollover effects. The arrows get larger and the add to cart button gets darker. And we have some uh, animation happening here as the shirts slide in. And uh, by the end of this video, you'll be able to make this exact same thing in Adobe Animate. So uh, before that, let's go into Adobe Illustrator where I made the assets for this video. And I'll show you how to prepare that for animation. In Illustrator, here's the first frame of my animation. And the main thing I want to point out is, uh, as you see when I click on the different layers, they're all on their own layer in the layers panel here. And uh, that'll just make your life a whole lot easier when importing to animate because then you will have more control over the different buttons and uh, it'll be easier for you to refer to the left or right buttons in code later on. And if you want a tutorial on quickly converting your artwork to separate layers, I would recommend this video here on converting an Illustrator file to After Effects, which is the same process, but I'll show you in this video how to import it later into Animate. So once your artwork is into separate layers, let's go into Animate and import this artwork. Now finally in Animate, you want to create a new project. And you'll want to make sure that the dimensions of this project are the same as your Illustrator file, for obvious reasons. So, uh, mine was 550 by 550. And then I'll just go ahead and create. Now all that's left to do is go up to File, Import, Import to Stage. And then import that Illustrator file. Make sure Select All Layers is selected. And then go ahead and hit Import. Now in our timeline, as you see when I scroll up, all of my layers are on their own layer just like the Illustrator file. Now copy this process with every frame you want in your animation. I'll import my other two slides and then I'll continue from there. Now all of my Illustrator files are imported. As you see when I play, it just plays through all three different frames. They're all 10 frames long. Um, so now the next thing you wanna do is to create symbols out of these buttons so we can actually click them and refer to them in code when we add the different actions. So. Let's just go to our first frame and our first arrow here, the left arrow. All you need to do is right click and convert to symbol. And just something that you'll remember, something easy like left arrow. So now in the properties panel here, you want to make sure you add an instance name. And this is how you will refer to it in code again. So I'll just name this the exact same thing. And then just repeat that process for all of your buttons. Now the first rollover effect I'm going to add is to the add to cart button. So now that it's a button symbol, all you need to do to access the different options for hover effects is to double click on it, which will bring you inside of the button here. This is uh, the button timeline since it's its own symbol. And then here in the timeline, you can see we have up, over, down, and hit. So up is how the button looks when it's static and not pressed. Over is how it looks when you're hovering. Down is when it's clicked. And hit is the hitbox, so the space around the button. The user is able to press that button. So a quick way to add the, uh, the hover effect is just to go over the over frame and insert keyframe. And um, just edit this single frame. So I'll zoom in a bit here, just to 200. Click on the, the color, then go up to the color panel here, and I'll just bring down the, the brightness. Something like that. So now as you see, up and over, so that's the hover effect. So now if I go back to the scene and play to test this, we have that hover effect. And now the same thing for the arrow, double click on that to access the symbol. It doesn't show the words above, but there still are those different options here. So just right click on the next frame, insert keyframe. And now I want the arrow to zoom in or um, scale up. So I'm just gonna right click, transform, scale and rotate. Keep rotation at zero and I'll just scale this by 106% or you can scale that by however much you want. Then hit okay. So now we have this rollover effect. Now all my frames have rollover effects for the buttons, so all that's left to do is to add the interactivity. So let's go ahead and create a new layer and call this Actions. And I already know I want this to stop at frame 10. And here's where the user will need to make a selection. So let's just right click and insert keyframe. 
Right click again and select actions. Now we can just select add using wizard and we want it to stop here, this timeline. We can click next and with this frame is where we want it to stop. And I'll just click under this line here and add using wizard. So now I want the option to switch to the next frame. So if the user selects the left arrow, that's going to bring them to the, the skull shirt. So we want to go to frame label and play this timeline. And I actually haven't named that frame yet. So let's just make a name for that right now. So skull shirt. And then we want to jump to next here and on mouse click the left arrow bunny so finish and add so now when we, cl we click on the left arrow it's going to jump to the the frame label skull shirt so let's define the skull label or the skull shirt label at the very end here so let's just select the skull shirt go into our properties and then here's the label type here and we, we called that skull underscore shirt now like the last little piece here um, now that we have it actually switch into the the left frame here which is the skull and let's add some motion to it so the skull shirt let's right click create motion tween so I want it to stop at this position so I'm gonna right click here insert uh, keyframe and the position I want to keep that position and I want it to slide in from from the left to the right because that's going to be the selection when the user hits the left arrow. So all we need to do is make sure it's on the first frame here and drag it to the left while holding shift so it stays on that axis. So now when we play this, it slides in like that. So let's go ahead and test this movie. Left arrow slides in. Perfect. And now to add a link to this button here, let's go ahead and Go up to the actions, add using wizard and go to web page. Here's where you would add the link to whichever web page you want this button to go to. Hit next and on mouse click, skull button is what that add to cart button is uh, labeled. And then finish and add. So if we go ahead and play this and select the add to cart button on the skull frame, it should take us to the Adobe website. So add to cart and it's bringing us to the Adobe website. So with these little tips in this video, you should be able to make your own interactive project in Adobe Animate. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss any more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.